Okay, well, thanks, Leslie. Yeah, we do want to say a special thanks again to uh, our sponsors. Uh, we thank the North Central Extension Deans and Directors and the North Central Regional Water Network. And we especially thank today uh, the group, the LPELC, for allowing us to have this time to share. Uh, this MASH group started in the early part of 2016, and as we started our group, uh, there was interaction of what could we do to help create uh, more opportunity for sharing and how could we move forward on our uh, objectives. Uh, having trouble moving my slide forward. Oh, uh, on the MASH, uh, the reason we came up with, uh, with the name Rick Kelsch, who's been one of our uh, leads on this, I had asked about some ideas, and I think it maybe came from, from his about using this acronym MASH. Uh, we are using it as a manure and soil health. A lot of you probably remember the Mobile Army Surgical Hospital show about the Korean conflict and, and the 4077th and some of the things that they went through. I think there's some things about that show that are kind of characteristic of how we want to be able to be be mobile, uh, be able to to look at what some of the current knowledge has been as we move into the long range vision about our knowledge exchange and then to link our current research with what maybe those future needs might be. I need to have some help moving it forward. Sorry about that. Okay, as we think about our manure and soil health, there are several aspects that we are a part of. Uh, we're thinking about improving the soil health. Uh, also, this biodiversity and the soil microbes, uh, the erosion reduction, uh, all the beneficial things that happen from having a productive soil and a good a productive soil health is a part of what we're about. We're trying to link together as we think about uh, several things. Uh, one of those that we talked about is roundtables as a forum discussion. Uh, we've also uh, talked about, uh, and Christina Carell is going to be helping us in that, in the mini grants, uh, Ting Ling is going to be sharing some, and then also on our uh, MASH blog, Shelby Bur Burlew is going to be uh, sharing, and then we'll close out with Rick Kelch. Uh, we, again, this is an interaction uh, type of webinar. Uh, we are wanting it to be one where we are listening to what some of your ideas are. When we met at the end of September with the Lexus over in Wisconsin, we had some ideas that came forward, but we still want this to be a grassroots approach. And so we have in the chat box some question and answer in the Zoom, and we'd like to gather these information ideas uh, as we move forward, and we'll have each of the speakers tell a little bit about what we're wanting to do as we move forward. Uh, and as I mentioned, we do say thanks to all of our sponsors uh, that are a part of this. Uh, we want this to be a group effort, and because of that, the success of our programs are going to be largely linked to the amount of participation we can get from you. Uh, on our programs today, we are going to start again with our roundtable discussion. Uh, Christina Carell from Michigan State University will lead us off. Then we'll go into Ting Ling from the University of Missouri, followed by Shelby uh, Burlew from the Michigan State University, and also from the University of Nebraska, Rick Kelch. Uh, 